Good morning, friends. Welcome to Thursday, May 28th. Esther for accompanying us this morning. Our scripture this reading this morning and our reading is from Upper Room Disciplines by Eric Law. Our, we continue with Acts 1, Acts 2, 1 to 21. When the day of Pentecost had come, and they were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them the ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all of these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's wonderful deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others sneered and said, they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you. And listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men dream dreams. Even upon my servants, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heavens above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood, before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. And then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Well, we live in a world uh, dominated by the voices of the powerful and the rich who use their power and money to influence our media and spread divisive information. This information polarizes people and makes us unable to communicate with one another to work together for the common good. As followers of Jesus, we sometimes feel insignificant and helpless and perhaps even powerless in sharing the good news of a compassionate and just God. At times like these, we can learn from the miraculous Pentecost story. When a small group of powerless Jews become so influential that 3,000 people are baptized. In every generation, 
Christians have used the technologies available to us to share the gospel. The early church leaders wrote down their stories so that future generations could recall the saving stories. And when the printing press was invented, Christians used it to print copies of the Bible and other resources that could be distributed and shared with many more. The voiceless began to find their voices in the printing era as well. And now, with the innovation of digital media, we can learn to use these channels to empower the prophetic voices of those with less power in our society. YouTube, for example, offers all who have access to a computer with a camera the ability to share their voice with millions. Social media allows people to network globally which bypasses traditional information systems. Even cousins living in Ottawa, Canada are watching even as I speak. The Black Lives Matter and Me Too movements are examples of the powerless finding their voice through a powerful digital network that has become a community of millions. When used faithfully, New technologies can allow us to hear and to share the experiences of the powerless, realizing a form of Pentecost. Let us pray. Oh God, help us to recognize Pentecost movements, Pentecost moments, and use our technologies to network locally and globally to empower and amplify the voices of the powerless. May their dreams, visions, and prophecies be heard by your people and your children. Amen. Our hymn this morning is Spirit of the Living God. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Melt me. If you have joys or concerns or prayers that you would like us to work on, please get in touch with me through um, Clayton United Methodist Church or Rollins Center United Methodist Church. Thank you and God bless you this very day.